Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to do Vintage SEO, and I'm going to do a soup to nuts of how I do it. And so this may be a little bit longer video than normal because I want to take my time and really show you how I do the research for something. So I'm going to be starting to sell Vintage Ephemera, and I thought instead of... Um, Instead of hiding my work, because I really do have an abundance mentality, I would show you how I'm actually going to do my um, research, right? Because a lot of times I think we give examples and we don't show, um, you know, our actual research or for our shop. So this is going to be where we're going to do it. And this is exactly how I do it. Now I'm showing you this now. I'm going to obviously take this little thing off to the side because otherwise it would be super annoying but what i do is i start a list and i'll show you this periodically so you can see it but i just i keep that off to the side when i'm doing my search and what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with etsy and i'm going to start with ephemera ephemera okay so i just want to see what comes up so ephemera pack ephemera pack Okay, uh, vintage ephemera, perfect. I have vintage ephemera. And we want to, um, we want to actually note, see how, see how the first one is ephemera pack and the second one is vintage ephemera? Because those are gonna be such two strong keywords for me, Number one, I'm going to put them in my title in those exact order. I know we don't need to duplicate, but for two strong keywords, I probably would do duplicate. Uh, like I wouldn't do ephemera pack, vintage ephemera, paper ephemera, digital ephemera, you know, that kind of thing. But I would do ephemera pack, vintage ephemera, paper, junk journal, right? Um, so we're going to start doing all these. Now, I don't have, I don't have um, digitals for these. I'm not scanning my stuff this is all original um papers that like papers papers okay so we're gonna we're gonna want to keep keep thinking about that because there are groups of people um that that want to print out digital which is awesome i'm all for that um but i use all um when i can all vintage paper to do my stuff so now we have paper we have junk journal okay uh printable is not mine and then we have ephemera for junk journals okay so i have heard in the world that 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 sorry this just makes me so upset so people will say that the plural and the singular are exactly the same okay i'm having a little mouse issue okay so we're going to say junk journal with quotes around it okay so junk journal and sometimes it's the same and sometimes it's not 49578 49578 let's look at that 49578 so for this one they are able to extrapolate it i did a video man maybe it's changed i did a video about a year ago when i tried like a whole bunch of them and they weren't all exactly the same so i'm super happy with um I will put junk journal probably in my title and then I will because let's look at C junk so junk journal singular is the important one so as I'm doing my research I would put a little star right there so to remind myself that that while junk journals is a thing that junk journal would go in my title and then I would have junk journals in my tags right okay and I'm not trying to tell anybody how to do this. I'm just telling you how I do it, okay? So let's go back, and we're going to go back to ephemera. Ephemera. Okay, I also have lot, so I need to have lot in here. Lot. Okay. 
Okay. Music kit. Oh, kit is good. So what this is telling me is, and and let's talk about how the world works. So I um. I have some, I was doing research for what to do my videos on. That lady was very loud. She was delightful, but super loud. Okay, so I have some ephemera, and I have not, there we go. So I have 30 things. So I have all these pictures. Now, I will tell you that I am probably, like this, Vintage Christmas Ephemera, let's see, we have Santa Photograph Postcard, Christmas Prayer, Prayer of Pete Marshall. Okay, I don't have lot. I don't have kit. I don't have um, all these things, because I didn't really do the research when I put this up. So I think I will keep that up, but I probably will take down all these individual pictures and put them into a lot or a kit rather than having them separately because this is screaming that people don't want to buy just one piece at a time probably because of shipping right let's let's say that but um okay so let's keep going so let's go down to ephemera pack so ephemera pack is, and then, oh my goodness, so this is what we want to look at, is we want to look and make sure when we do this search that it's not um, weird, right? So if I had done ephemera pack and found all digital images, so this is printable, so one printable in the ads, but everything else here is real stuff right now this is what we want to start looking at so what is what is here so these people are doing random paper etc let's see what they have so vintage ephemera pack 50 piece grab bag of small vintage ephemera okay so there you may not get exactly that Right, so let's see what it says. A 50-piece mixed assortment, uh, mini-sized ephemera, similar with slight variations and representations. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have more of a this is exactly what you're going to get, okay? Um, so that's fine. The nice thing about that is I'm trying to figure out pricing. So this is pink and gray. I see that people like colors. So over here, even for my SEO, I'm going to do um, colors. So they like to do it in colors. Um, uh, eras. So they have like mid-century. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's see. I lost my mouse again. There she is. Um Let's see what that, that's really pretty. Whatever they're doing there, that's a very pretty vellum scrapbook papers, rice papers, vintage style. Okay, so this is vintage style, meaning that she is not, um, she is not selling real vintage, but I like, I like her price point. So now I'll go see so she's not actually my competition right like so somebody who would be buying this um wouldn't be looking to spend extra for mine so peppermint sage inserts handmade journals let's see what's selling from her um so she's mostly so she's selling a lot of real inserts and not as much vintage There's one, two, okay. So that actually even makes me feel better because I feel like for somebody who wants, okay, so here's Tim Holtz that is, um, I don't want to say fake vintage. It's vintage inspired, right? 
Um, this is an instant download. So now all of a sudden we're getting to where they're not really going to be able to have authentic vintage. Those are vintage images. Hand printed scrapbook. Here we go. Postcard journal, ephemera post postcards. Okay, so now what have we seen? We need to have a picture of twine, which I have twine, because um, vintage people have twine, of um, the little package. That's what shows up well. Okay, so let's see how she does it so you can get one two three okay a collection of vintage paper vintage postcards english book pages uh oh postcards through the 1970s Okay, not reproductions. Okay, cool. All right, so this is this is good. So now we're going to do ephemera pack and see what else comes up. Shabby. Junk journaling, ephemera pack. What happens if we do this? Modern? Nope. Okay, so what was ours? Vintage ephemera. So let's do vintage ephemera. Lot pack. Oh, let's try lot. Okay, so a lot seems to be, oh, I have matchbooks. Um, a lot seems to be, I guess you could do lots. I was going to say a lot seems to be a, a lot of the same thing. But it seems like it kind of got um, different all fast. So let's see how many. There's only 7,000 results, you guys. I am used to the, um, the real internet with blogging where there's like millions of results. So I'm not unhappy with that. Let's see what kit is. I, always, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, what's a kit? So I'm kind of getting the idea scrap pack so let's scrap pack scrap pack sorry i get it actually doing my work so large scrap pack so kits seem to be matched with large scrap packs a hundred piece alice in wonderland 70s and 80s so not only do we want mid-center century we want like 1930s, 1970s, right? Okay, so that's good. What is this? Birds. Vintage birds. Now, see, those are printed now. Okay, so I'm good with that. Let's see. I don't really, I guess if you were just going to do Etsy searches. I would start going into each one making sure like this is 20 vintage anatomy book pages um, For scrapbooks collage. Okay, so now we have more scrap Collage art projects Okay, paper ephemera, blah, blah, blah. Let's see what she has in her tags. Book, pages. Oh, I don't have pages. Book, pages, bundle. We don't have bundle yet. Nice. Bundle. Paper ephemera, altered art. And then I would go back and forth, back and forth, scrapbooking. So I had scrapbooks. We have scrapbooking. Okay. And I would go back and forth, back and forth to the shops that show up, right? Um, so, cool. That, that would be good. And then I would do a lot more deep dive into um, 
So like paper crafting, paper flowers, paper flower templates, paper dolls, paper dolls are a big thing, paper craft. So some of this is, this is where it gets hard. Some of this is where you have to almost have knowledge. So how do you get knowledge to get started on the front end? So we're going to come over here to Google and we're going to say ephemera, right? Because Google is a lot better at giving us ideas of what things are called. Now, you might have seen where I have search volume, and those are showing up in the Etsy search. Now, that's actually Google search volume, not Etsy search volume. But um, we see here, so let's see. So this is really nice because that is a single listing not a, and she has, so this is why this girl's doing good. She has bajillions of them, and so she's maintaining that top listing. So let's look and see. 50 Please Collection, 1800s, pages, poetry, tags, receipts, French, antique postcards. Okay, cool. She has cool stuff. Okay. And she's doing better in Google search because she has, like, she's saying, I'm going to give you stuff, and it's not going to be this exact stuff, where I'm saying I want to do exact stuff. Now, maybe I need to rethink that. So let's, you know, I would go through and figure that out. Okay, so now we want to see what, um, what related keywords are. So ephemera paper, ephemera examples, ephemera for sale, which we don't need because we're already on Etsy. So there's scrapbooking, there's collection, collection is new, um, free vintage ephemera downloads, so that's, that's where vintage ephemera for sale, ephemera society journal, what is that? Oh, it's in a society! Nice. Study and education. So that's in, in Britain. They, uh, and so those are people that would be very probably sad about everything I tear up into little pieces. Um, where to find ephemera? Selling ephemera on Etsy. Okay. So you can do this kind of search too. And like I said, I'm using a plugin called Keywords Everywhere that will help you get those. But what I use is marmalade um, for my searches because I want to know um, honestly first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take those few keywords that we had so we had ephemera pack that they said was the biggest one right and now I'm going to do also ephemera lot and I'm going to do ephemera kit. And I'm going to do ephemera vintage ephemera. Okay. So what Marmalade is, is like a tool where they aggregate all the data from Etsy and then they tell us stuff, right? So, um, until the stuff comes up, it's kind of hard to, to let you know what that is. But I will show you what the stuff is. Okay. So, and I'll move me over here, sorry. I'll just be right on the corner. I know that I'm barely there anymore. Okay, so what long tail means is, is it a keyword that isn't considered, like, standard in the English language? So, um, ephemera pack is not long tail and ephemera vintage ephemera so look right we find we see that those are the two biggest searches and they're saying that 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 it has 471 searches a month and then the engagement here is better right engagement means how many other listings they looked at so when they're doing vintage ephemera they're coming here and then the engagement is only one 
my guess from having done this a very long time is that they're um, searching for vintage ephemera. They're getting real vintage ephemera and they go back and they're like digital scrapbooking, whatever. Okay. So the competition on that. Whoa. And so, so for sure, ephemera pack and everything I do is going to be based on ephemera pack, right? Um, bargain price. So it looks like my mid range price is about $12. And what that means to me is that I don't need to say they're going to understand that, um, mine is more special. I need to figure out how I can comfortably get into that $12 price range and, um, See, now they'll show you all the tags. So I got all excited. Sorry, I got distracted, which happens. Okay, so we have ephemera. Let's see if we find anything else. Junk journal, junk journal kit. Junk journal kit. That seems fun. I'm going to put that on my junk journal kit. Okay, junk journal kit. I love that. Okay, scrapbooking junk journal. Okay, so we have all of those. So now I'm going to go over here to search and I'm going to go to, because ephemera pack is my, is my word, my word. Okay. I can come back in now. There we are. I'm back. Okay. Okay. So it's not long tail. In a perfect world, I would find, oh. So you want me to show you long tail? I bet you it comes out to long tail. Um, so now I'm combining vintage and ephemera pack. Now, just a little tip. If you do vintage ephemera pack as your very first word, um, Etsy search will kick it out and it'll put it to the ephemera. So, okay. So here it is. It is long tail, right? But I'm... Um, I'm really going to focus on this. So how does this help you if you're selling something else? So say you're doing, um, vintage lusterware vases is another thing I'm doing. You want to find literally the highest place you could get. So, but vases, you know, we all get really in the weeds of, but mine are postcards or mine are this or mine are that. No, you want to find the largest version of what you're selling. And then you can finesse later in your tags and your title. But for now, you want to be doing research on what's the biggest thing you can find. Okay, so uh, we know it's $12. This stuff all looks like my stuff, right? Like, so it feels like I could get some kind of cute packaging um and i do have folders like this that i could i like what she's doing that's very cute all right so 12 is kind of where it starts dropping we have some at 19. okay so 19 minimum shipping is 98 cents average shipping is five dollars i wonder what you get for 19 dollars and 36. Um, days to ship. Ooh, look at that. So what's happening here is they're not really aggressive shops. So if I have my shipping set at one to two days, I'm going to look really good. And it looks like the most, um, the most for shipping is about $4. So with this kind of thing, I'm very big on my heavier items. I, um, I just let the calculated shipping do it. Okay, so on average, listings with free shipping are priced $185. This is less than the average cost, so they're not covering the costs of it. Okay, so they have, I need to have 10 photos. They, so this very, this shop that's doing this one, they have 10 photos. They're shipping in one day. See, I told you, sneaky. Um, they have good tags, so then I can see what their tags are for this. And then this is... C N A. that means it's a digital product. They only have five pictures on this one. And if you click on it, we could see it. And I bet you they're an older listing. 
two, three, four, five. Yep, so if I want to beat them, I can um, do 10 pictures. Yay me. Okay, they have eight pictures. It says, I think they repeated pictures, sneaky peeps. Okay, and the price is, so so 10.39 is their price. Okay, so 14.50. I'm, I'm going to have to be in that $15 range. There we go. So let's see if we can tell how many she ships. Okay, so there's an ephemera pack. There's an ephemera pack. Now we don't know how long she's been shipping, but it does look like she has six, and we don't have, there's an ephemera pack. Okay. So I think that doing this, I feel like my, um, my um, concept has been borne out. Now, if you're going back to my shop, you may be thinking, oh my gosh, $15 total, and I had that... Um, I had those ephemeras listed for like $15. So it's no, they're very specific pictures. And for a lot of these, I think I paid back before I knew any better, um, which once you know better, you do better. But I paid probably 16 or, or $8 or $7 a picture. Um, so what I would do is I would make different levels of ephemera packs, right? So I'm going to have a bunch in that range of $15 where literally you're getting some pages, you're maybe getting a postcard, you're doing all that. But then I'm going to have um, other ones where, you know, you get the, the picture boards, you get, because there's a value to that, right? I know that, that normal people like you who don't do junk journaling or things like that don't understand why somebody would care about having this cop cardboard picture frame, but for us, it's a be still my heart moment. So what I'll probably do is take these down and launch my new line with the ephemera packs just brand new. Um, yeah, I'm excited. And I have sold, so just so you know, I've sold a ton of these little cookbooks. I tend to put little cookbooks on there um, and get get really good sales on those. That's why there aren't any up here, right? They do really well, and these ones haven't done well. So there's a reason for that. When you see that something isn't doing well, make sure that you really try to figure out why that's happening. So hopefully watching me do my work helped. <laughs> Dara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.